Hi friends, today I have put together some of the best photos that I have ever taken uh, into a little slideshow here for us, and I thought we could take a look at them and relax. So up first we have a shot of these little bluid flowers. These were in my backyard last year and my mom noticed them and she wanted me to go take some pictures of them. I think this shot turned out really nice. Um, the one bluet in the middle really serves as a nice focal point, and the rest of them give the photo some good depth. Up next, we have this picture of an elk, I believe. I think I took this picture in Yellowstone National Park. some of the hot springs and we came across some wildlife and I thought this was just a really pretty picture. Very peaceful. Here we have some stars. Now I'm not an expert at taking pictures of stars yet but they are one of my favorite things to take pictures of. I think they're just so beautiful. This was taken at a hunting camp that my family visits. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a really good time, that trip. I had a lot of fun. And I think the stars were just so beautiful. I took this shot around 5 in the morning, so we were up really late. Here we have a picture of Paris, France. I took this picture uh, leading out the balcony window of my hotel room one of the first nights that I was in France. It was uh, just about golden hour there, and uh, it was just so pretty. I love the skyline there because everything's so much lower than uh, it is here in the U.S. That trip was great. I have a couple other photos in this series for us to look at from that trip, too. But here we have a picture of Mount Rushmore. I took a trip to Mount Rushmore and actually the entire northern United States with my family back in 2018. That trip was one of the best things I've ever done, one of the most exciting uh, times I've ever had. I loved it so much and I hope to keep traveling like that in the future. Here we have a photo from that same trip of a bumblebee on a nice little flower. Uh, I don't remember where this was taken, but there were flowers everywhere for just these huge fields of flowers with hundreds and hundreds of bees everywhere. And I like this photo. It's just, it's up close, it's personal, and you don't really see, I don't really see many photos of bees like that because people aren't really willing to get that close sometimes. Here we obviously have a photo of the Eiffel Tower uh, from that same trip uh, that we saw the Paris skyline in. This one, it's very touristy, but like, I always see this photo on like the posters in my French classroom, and I thought it was really cool to like, be able to take that photo for myself and really see, you know, where it really comes from. This is a lake from that cross-country trip that we went on, that same trip that we saw Mount Rushmore on. I can't remember where this lake is or what it's called or anything about it, but I thought it was really pretty and peaceful and just serene, so I threw it in here because I liked it. I also think the clouds look really nice in this photo. Here we have another shot of a bumblebee. Uh, this is at the same place where we had all those other flowers. And I think this is probably my favorite photo from that, uh, from that field of flowers because uh, it was just very unique uh, to be able to catch the bee while it was taking off from that flower. I tried to get this shot for at least 10 minutes before I finally got it in flight and in focus. And here we have a photo of the Sky Wheel in Canada, uh, Niagara Falls, Canada. I, I love this Ferris wheel, it's so fun. At the top you get a great view of the city and of the falls. I just think it's uh, one of the, my favorite things to do when we go and visit.
same hike that we saw the goats. Uh, it was just so picturesque and beautiful. It was it was really great. It was a longer hike, but it was absolutely worth it. I think it was upwards of three miles, which maybe isn't a lot, but we were on vacation, so it was a lot of walking for us. Here we have that other goat that I was talking about. Uh, this guy really put on quite a show for me. He, uh, he uh, was posing quite nicely up on this rock uh, with the mountain and the trees in the background, all snowy and white. Again, I, I was just so cool to be that close and to get to experience them that personally. This little guy is a baby wren. Uh, he was on the porch of my grandmother's house. Uh, I was able to watch these little guys grow up and eventually leave the nest. Uh, they were just so cute. There was about five of them that I got to watch for a while. It was so fun to see them grow up and get their feathers and eventually fly away. This shot here is of Monaco. I visited Monaco the same trip that I visited France. Uh, we also spent a day in Spain, but this was just a little harbor next to a city in Monaco. Uh, we took a walk there along the beaches and along the cliff sides of the ocean, and it was so peaceful and so beautiful. Here we have a beautiful looking duck. I took this picture at a Pennsylvania State Park last year. Uh, the duck is preening, which is uh, when a duck ruffles its feathers to clean underneath of it. Ducks actually produce an oil on their feathers that make them water resistant. This photo is, it's rather unique, uh, it's a little different, it's just a silhouette of a bird, I don't know what kind of bird, but this was taken at a bird sanctuary in Niagara Falls, Canada. I visited there a number of years ago, probably upwards of three years now, but I always like this photo because of how different it was, it's not something that I see a lot, I think, I think it's just a little different and cool. This here is a picture of Henry's Lake at Henry's Lake State Park in Idaho. We visited Idaho on that same trip at Mount Rushmore. Uh, I, this today is still one of the most beautiful and picturesque lakes I've ever been to. Uh, it's up there with uh, places like Lake Itasca and Crater Lake. I, it was just so beautiful at sunset. Here we have another picture of a place in France. This is called Le Pont du Gard. It is an aqueduct that was built, I don't remember when, but it was a very, very long time ago. It was used to uh, create an irrigation system for an area around there for crops and whatnot. There's a uh, really beautiful river that flows underneath it, and we got to hang out and spend some time there. It was beautiful. This is another shot of Monaco. Uh, all the boats and the blues of the water and the skyline of the city with the mountain. I think it really just comes together and it shows what a beautiful, beautiful place Monaco is. And it does look like that is the last photo I have for us today, so if you enjoyed, 